The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the December 18th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge Show. I'm your host, Steve B. Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And, of course, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I want to make that little two by four shift, well, when we do, it'll mean that we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what these buyers and sellers are communicating. To you and I, just past one o'clock in the afternoon, I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, this show is all about you. That's right. We'd love to hear from you. We'd like to take a look at uh, whatever instrument it is you either own or looking to buy or looking to sell and uh, give you some feedback, at least what the charts are communicating to you and I. So give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, you can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Send it early and please put radio show question in the subject heading, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Any and all pings will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got a mixed bag of indices out here. The semis are off about a point and a half, so they're flat, but the trannies down about 100 points. That's nearly one full percentage point. Uh, flat market, really. The Dow's up 11, the SP, too. The NASDAQ up 24 points. That's the leader percentage wise to the upside. Uh, spot volatility index has perked its head. It's up 13 pennies, trading down to 1242. We've got a little bit of a rising bottoms pattern to be watching out there, so we'll take a look at that. Rising bottoms in the face of uh, price actually moving higher uh, so we'll take a look at that gold's off a buck silver down four pennies lights we crude up 19 cents natural gas off four ticks uh, four pennies out here lead the charge to the upside it is shopify up the three and a half percent 13 dollars and change tesla up 10 Cintas corp up about 10 netflix up eight to the downside Alicos Inc. off 17 bucks. That's 13 and a half percent. FedEx, the big uh, mover to the uh, downside inside the transports, they're off 10 percent or 17 dollars. Linux International, not to be confused with any Linux, any Linux, uh, but Linux International is down 15 bucks or six percent. So plenty to look at. Of course, I want to look at what you want to uh, look at. The first request coming in from Dave. I believe this is Dancing Dave out here. Dancing Dave wants to take a look at ticker symbol B. LDR. Let's open this up here. This is Builders Fire's first source ink out here. And uh, Dave is, he wants to do a little dancing, a little tap dancing out here. He's uh, in this equity. He's in the uh, green out here, but just curious, where is support and what do the indicators show us? So right now, uh, if we take a look at this, uh, Dave, daily, weekly, you are in between their profiles. Now on the daily profile, it's a bearish structured profile, meaning the center line at 2528, closer to the top of the box of 2565. So any significant close below 2528, you're 2518 right now. I don't know if 10 cents is significant enough. We'll call it 20 cents. Let's say 2508. If you see a close there, and I just pulled that out of thin air, maybe it's 2507, maybe it's 2509. I'm just saying when you close below the center of a box out there, bearish in structure, well, then you've got sellers at the top, sellers that have joined along at that center line. They should be able to push push price down to support. That would be 2437. Now I know here in your email you say you show, show support at 2340. Well 2394 will be the bottom of its new weekly profile that formed this week. So there is a level of support on a monthly basis. 
support being the top of its box while it's all the way down at 15 buckaroonies out here. So let's go see if there's any kind of topping patterns or what's going on on the uh, Stevie's white background charts. And sure enough, you do have a Rhodes Momentum indicator signal. It has been confirmed. It was confirmed about uh, five, six days ago uh, out here. That was December the 13th when the actual first bearish reversal candle formed. That was your bear sash candle. Now, we took a look at those profiles. Whenever there is a topping pattern that confirms, such as this one, I don't care if it's this one, I don't care if it's sell the D point, I don't care if it's a Chapman wave, I don't care what it is. What I do care about is when you do get the topping signal out there, the role of sellers, that doesn't mean it's curtains. It's impossible to believe that it would be curtains at that stage. The curtains here uh, are support. How can it be curtains? We must know where support is. So in this case here, you've got a topping pattern. You've got a bear structure daily profile. And this would say that price would be able to push its way or sellers should be able to push price down to 24.37, the bottom of that box. Whether they do or not, I don't know. But if you did see a break of support there, well, that would be telling you that you've got a really confirmed daily sell signal with support having been broken. See, if support doesn't get broken, at least for two days in a row out there, Nothing more than just a normal retracement with a nice topping signal. Let us know that it was time to take a rest. But if price did close below the bottom of that profile, Dave, you're looking at 2001 on the daily time frame. Now, the daily is not going to rule the weekly. So let's go take a look at the weekly. We know we've got a brand new box that formed out here. We know our resistance is at. It's at 2607. That's the top of the profile as we take a look at the weekly time frame chart. And we go all the way back down to last year's bottom formed with a nice roads momentum indicator bottom. We just took a look at that on a daily basis, except for the top but if we do start our wave count out here on the weekly time frame chart we're going to see the last week was wave number seven that's assuming that this week we don't see price close above or, or not close above but trade above last week's high at this stage here wave number seven letter g on my chart is just simply pushing price down to support first level of support really on any chart of course on the daily it didn't matter because price was already below it is stevie's green line out there and it's probably like around 25 Oh six or somewhere right in that uh, general vicinity. I could give you. We're not gonna. We're not gonna worry about a penny or two. But what is going on on the weekly basis is price is pushing its way down to support. We have the weekly profiles out there. So price closes below Stevie's green line. Uh, you've got 24.79 is the uh, center of the uh, profile on the weekly basis. And that looks like it's fairly even Steven, so to speak. So no edge to bulls or bears out there. Uh, there would be an area of support and then 23.94. So you got a topping pattern on the daily. You've got a topping signal on the uh, weekly. No levels of support have been broken thus far. If we take a quick peek here, this is ticker symbol BLDR is what I will do for you folks. If you go ahead and send me an email or give us a call at 877-927-6648, we'll bisect and dissect your instrument out here. In the case of Boulder Dash, we can see that when price was making its bottom on the monthly chart back in December of last year, it was doing it with a TD setup nine count pattern. Then we had a BOGO, buy one, get one free. Well, if we take a look at where price was pushing down as it was making that TD setup nine count, it was right down there into support of the TD setup breakout level, 1066. It held, and then it has been a one-way market ever since. But now, voila, where are we at? Well, where we're at is this month. Looks like we're going to get a TD setup nine count. Now, remember, that nine count can identify the top on either bars eight, which so far is the high, bars nine, or the bar following nine as it did back last year. Look, Dave, Dance and Dave, you're going to need to do some real good tap dancing here because you've got confirmed signals on the daily looks like on the weekly and now maybe even the monthly just keep your top tight tight keep your stops tight i'll figure that out if you're not currently using the taz profile scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon the TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. The high today so far, 32.46, so pretty darn close there. And price is back down below the uh, center of that uh, profile. So you got to be careful out here, profile-wise. Uh, the bears could push this back, or sellers could push this back down to 31.48. Price is below the bottom of its weekly profile, so that's kind of a dangerous thing out there because you're below support, and you're below support on the monthly time frame. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go take a look at our other signals out here. Let's take a look at the daily time frame. Put up our white background ninja trader chart out here we can see that uh, from the high the high i'm referring to was out on this a daily time frame from back on november the 6th if we start doing our wave count to the downside we'll see that what uh, boat high was taking a look at i would surmise was wave number seven because sometimes these charts they will sing in the key of g the stevie wonder charts out there when they do well they're telling you they want a top or bottom well in this case here like we talked about in segment number one when you get a top or a bottom signal i don't care what it is the first key is, can it take out resistance? Well, so far today, the answer is no way. Nada. Zippo. Gots to be careful out here. I'm not saying that it can't. 
I'm saying that we didn't know if it would or it wouldn't yesterday when it generated that bullish engulfing candle out there, which was nice because it confirms that seventh wave move out there. But then what price has done, it's trading below Stevie's red line. That's at 3231. And it is uh, trading, uh, well, it's inside the uh, profile out here. So this had, if, if, now what you're looking for is you're looking for a close above 32.54, just to be really square out there. So um, just have to be careful. I do have the bottoming signal on the daily time frame, but now that bullish reversal was, um, or pattern uh, has struggled to get through resistance. And today was the first day, and you got a doble gi out there. I mean, two levels of resistance have held up. On the weekly time frame, you do have a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Price right now trading at support. That is Stevie's red line, or very close to it, 31.48. So, on the weekly time frame, it's below the uh, bottom of its profile. That would be a, a support level. If we could get there right now, that is resistance, 32.72. So it's kind of, um, it's not the best of conditions out here. You'd love to see the weekly generating something. It, it is generated a bullish signal, that's for sure. But, you know, you sure would love to see this trade back above that 30, close above 32.72. The monthly time frame chart out here, I don't have any pattern other than to say that price did close, is below its breakout area of 35.20. And this uh, equity could easily move back to 23 bucks, even Steven. That would take us back into the October 2017 time frame where price had broken out to the upside. So I say just keep your stops tight on this one. I got it right the first time. See, I, I, if I get enough practice, I will be able to not be so tongue tied out there. Your average true range on this is 88 cents, so your stop should be at least 88 cents uh, below, you know, where it's trading right now. Typically, you'd we'll use some type of um, some type of Fibonacci expansion of the average true range out there. At least that's what Stevie would recommend. Okie dokie. We don't have any other requests in, so uh, give us a call at 877-927-6648, or uh, you can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. In the meantime, let's go take a look at what's going on the markets out here. Jay, no new market profiles uh, for the daily, weekly time frame for any of the equity futures contracts out here. So they're all above their daily levels. You've got the Russell above yesterday's high. That's bullish. The NQ above yesterday's high. That's bullish. Uh, we don't have that same pattern yet inside the ES and the Dow. So things look okay there. If we take a look at uh, the New York Stock Exchange, the New York Stock Exchange, I believe that what we're going to see is the advanced decline oscillator get up towards or to the 150 level and then fail. How long it's going to take to get up there, I don't know. But um, that's it's right now it's bullish. You've got the spot volatilities below its 50 day exponential moving average. That level, by the way, of the 50 day, whoops, let me go back here. Where was it? The 50 day is at 1387. 1387. Now, I had mentioned earlier uh, that the spot volatility index was trading higher. And when I'm saying trading higher, I'm referring to the trading day of, and this on a closing basis, December 16th. Today's the 18th, so just two days ago. And so what we have is a slight rising bottoms pattern in the spot volatility index, along with a slight rising tops pattern inside the S&P 500. This is how highs get formed inside the marketplace. We can take a look at a couple other instances on my chart. Up at the top is the S&P 500. Down below is the spot volatility index. Now, we need something to trigger. It doesn't have to be a significant pullback, but it can be. Out here, you see the one that was not significant was back here in March of this year. The one that was more significant was the one in May. The interesting thing is we know that in May, we get an initial pullback. Price typically then moves higher into July. Uh, just as the S&P 500 did before it pulls back again and it sets its hook for the bottom. So we know that seasonality uh, prices are moving along that path of seasonality. And that's where we start to see trouble, potential trouble out here, because you've got this little indicator um, that is suggesting potential of a top. I got uh, Rose Momentum indicator signals on daily and monthly timeframes all over the place out there. And we are coming into that uh, initial small period of time that is an unfavorable seasonal cycle. The problem is the longer term monthly charts out there. And those charts are showing uh, signs of, of potential problems out here. And even those that, uh, and if I take a look at the weekly charts, I'm not going to show you the monthly right now, but as an example, here's the weekly chart for the ES Mini. 
We know that markets can form tops using that TD setup nine count. Well, this is December. This is going to be bar number nine. Bar number nine, we know that a top can form either the high of this month or it could be the high of next month out there. So maybe just the early part of January. So you've got the weekly that has topping patterns, the daily that has topping patterns. What do you mean topping patterns? We'll just take a look at the ES Mini as an example. The ES Mini, we've got price movement higher, doing less relative energy. That's why we've got these lines here that are being drawn. Today looks like that's going to be bar number nine of a TD setup nine count. I don't know whether it's the daily that uh, triggers things off or not, but you've got topping signals and patterns. You've got A to B equal CD patterns in the uh, daily. You got a plethora of potential topping signals as we come into a time period where the market typically begins to pull back. Not December 18th, but January 5th, which is, I believe, a weekend, January 6th. And in 2019, all of the top or bottom signals from a seasonal standpoint came in just a little bit early. So we need to be on guard so to uh, speak. What else is it that we can take a look at out here? Well, uh, the uh, uh, usual calls, we haven't gotten them yet. Uh, usual questions are Goldilocks. And if we take a look at gold, what's it doing? Not much. Just trading and consolidating. In between the top of its daily profile these days, which is 1481.50, and the bottom, which is 1460.20. Gold just simply has a set of declining highs, lower highs, lower lows, and it will continue to be that way for some time to come. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that have transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow up 7 S&P up 2. Let's go to the other side of the coast to Sarasota and speak with Ray. Ray, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing well, and I hope you are as well. I am. Uh, my question today is regarding NAT, Nordic American Tankers. Tell me what you're doing, how I can help you. Well, I've uh, traded it for the last couple of years. It's been a good stock to trade. Uh, I've recently, in the last uh, six months or so, built a pretty uh, big position on it. And uh, the tankers in general are going up. I like the chart on, on this stock. I'm, I'm eyeballing. I think it's uh, got a chance to run to 6 to $8. Paid a dividend for the last 82 quarters, and I know they're planning to increase the uh, dividend substantially in the coming year. What do you think? Well, I think that uh, so you've been building a position, and I, I just try to listen to you know to a caller, figure out how I can best help them. So you've been building a position, as you say, for about six months here. So uh, for me, that says you've got a longer term uh, view of the stock, and therefore I went really right to the monthly chart, so the larger time frame. And uh, back in September, price was pushing lower, doing less relative energy, and then what it formed was a bullish engulfing candle and a key reversal. Key reversal is where the prior candle high and low is exceeded by the current candle and then you get a close in the opposite direction well you got that so you got two nice bullish candles confirming the roads momentum indicator bottom and this would say over time uh, price is likely headed to where it last broke down on a monthly basis and that is at 868 it's at 447 right now so that's the bigger picture which gave you that nice signal if we take a look at the smaller pictures out here and look for some resistance areas well the resistance area the only one that's there and why price stopped where it did today was because price got up to resistance and that was on the weekly level that was the weekly profile and that was at the price level of 447 and trading at 445 so yet ideally you'd like to see a close above this doesn't mean if it doesn't close above this that it's going to back off all the way down to the bottom of the box which is 335 but you are at a resistance level on the weekly basis it's also from a weekly standpoint moving higher doing less relative energy that uh, form that began really today as well uh, but that pattern isn't enough to suggest that you would sell it just says be careful now on the weekly basis the resistance level if it can get through the top of that profile would be 567 that's where it broke down on the uh, weekly chart or the next breakdown area 567 out there if i look at the daily time frame and try to identify any kind of top or bottom today is a move above the top of its profile so that is a uh, bullish um, i don't see anything out here to suggest well let me just do a quick wave count out here off of the prior low uh, wave number six um, so you might be getting close to a uh, area where price might begin to pull back uh, maybe that's what the signal is on the weekly time frame but overall array uh, this this looks good uh, and especially from the you got volume off of the bottom on the monthly time frame so that's a beautiful thing um, I don't have any reason for you to uh, for you to uh, take this fish off the hook and put it back into the water I'd stay with it good 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 that's what I like to hear uh, well thank you very much for your perspective uh, you I bet. appreciate it as always and Merry Christmas to you Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thanks so much for calling in. That was Ray in uh, Sarasota. Let's see if there's any other requests. Oh, there are some requests. They're inside the Tiger's Den. John inside the Tiger's Den wanted to take a look at two different instruments. EWZ, I believe, was I one of them. So let's go take a look at it. That is the uh, MSCI Brazil ETF out there, EWZ. Uh, so what we can see here is price is above the... Um, a price is above its daily profile out here. Just doing that today, John. Uh, it's a profile that formed today, bullish in structure. Uh, the top of that box, 4602. 4609. 
So a close above that would be nice. Price is now taking on the top of its weekly profile. That's at 45.97. So if it can close above that on a weekly basis, that's good. On the monthly, the top of the box, 44.69. So you've got all kinds of nice patterns out there uh, to suggest that, uh, re or patterns not so much, but resistance has uh, failed to contain price. That's a beautiful thing. We take a look at Stevie's daily time frame chart out here. You're going to see a TD nine count top. Uh, that means you want to pay attention to the high from December the 14th. If price is able to close above that high out there, well, then it's going to continue or should continue to move higher. Price is also trading above its breakdown level, 45.49. So, uh, you know, I'll give priority to breaking that uh, resistance area. Uh, but watch the high from just a few days ago. You want to see price be able to take that out to negate that TD nine count top out there. It hasn't been negated just yet. Uh, if we take a look at the weekly time frame for EWZ, EWZ, it looks like to me it's trading into resistance or close to it. Let's open up the chart and find out. That would be at 46.52. Now, 46.52, John, is where you can see it's not the actual top tick, but we can see that green horizontal line coming across our weekly chart, the last, uh, uh, last move up into that area. Uh, did form a TD setup a nine count, but bar seven was the high. Nonetheless, resistance held. So your resistance area, you're trading at 46.07 is 46.52. You really want to see price be able to close above that, but you know that you've got resistance there. Now you can understand. Now you can see why it was more than just the swing point uh, from way back when, back in December of last year. So that's the weekly time frame. Just saying, hey, there is resistance ahead. On the monthly basis for EWZ, again, that is uh, the Brazil ETF out here. Uh, what do we have? Um, I don't think I have much. But let's just go ahead and label this up with regard to, yeah, I don't really have much out here. Pre nothing bearish because price is trading above Stevie's green line, which is 43.23 in its green. So on a monthly basis, you have a rising price oscillator above zero. So overall, everything looks good. You've got some resistance uh, that is nearby, and you've got that uh, high from a few days ago that you want to see cleared out there. Let's go to the next one that you had asked about, which was, I believe, uh, Argentina. But we'll see. I -A -R -A -R, I'm just guessing. A-R-G-T out here. It is Argentina. I was going to sing that song to you, but um, we'll leave that to others that have a better voice to uh, sing that tune. But if we do take a look at the tune that I'll sing to you are what's going on from a profile standpoint, we can see that prices above the daily and the weekly profiles out here inside the box on a monthly basis. It is somewhat bearish in uh, tone. I mean, the center at 2662, closer to the top of 2857 versus the bottom at 2370. So 2662 is going to be your next level of resistance. Oh, I've got to put this in on my other charts out here. Uh, don't cry for me, Argentina. But uh, let's go take a look at it. You knew I had to at least say that, right? So as we take a look at ticker symbol ARGT out here, um, uh, this is going to be day number nine of a TD setup nine count. Uh, so it just says be careful. If there is a high to form, it could be, and it was uh, based on this pattern, be either today or tomorrow. Um, you've got an A to B equals CD pattern as well. Let's draw that in. Your A point all the way down here where it formed the roads momentum indicator bottom back on November 20th. But let's take a look at our A to B equals CD out here. And that's going to give us, say, uh, you're at the 1 to 1 1.272. You've got a widest ranging bar here, John. This would suggest to me um, that price would move up to the 26.52, the 1 to 1 1.618. You just have to be on guard for any type of bearish reversal candle. That would suggest, at least on the daily basis, that the move might be over. Without that, price will continue to motor on higher. How much higher? Look, the breakdown area inside of this is at 35.72, but it's got some gaps to contend with, that's for sure. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. 
A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, we had a request to take a look at uh, this chart here that I'll post. This is our uh, little nine-panel chart that shows the uh, Dow is in the upper left-hand corner. So ETFs out there, so you guys can create this exact same uh, chart. Maybe you can't lay it out exactly like this, but this is showing you the different ETFs for many of the uh, – uh, markets across the uh, globe. Uh, just to the right in the top panel for the uh, Dow, you've got uh, the DIA is what we're using. Obviously, the ETF is EWU. That's the iShares for the United Kingdom. Now, the red horizontal line on each of these charts are the highs from back in 2018. Uh, you'll notice on this uh, set of charts here, the only uh, indice that is trading above the 2018 highs is the Dow. And in the case of the Dow, it's got a little rising trend line we use from highs that made during the year in 2019 out there. And so it's above that and uh, still looking muy bueno. Now, to the right of the United Kingdom, the upper right-hand panel, that is Australia. Then we go to uh, back to the left in the center. You've got uh, Canada. You've got Canada. Uh, you've got uh, China. China. And then you've got uh, India out there off to the uh, right. Then we go down to the bottom left. You've got Germany, uh, the uh, basically the uh, DAX, uh, so to speak. You've got then Japan, and then you've got just simply emerging markets. Well, we just took a look at Argentina and Brazil. Now, what does all this mean? What does all this mean? Jelly bean out here. Well, means, hey, look, the U.S. is the uh, king dog, but if the king dog decides to take a break, how will that impact the others out there? So this is the interesting, it's not a chart, the interesting scanner, so to speak. Here's utilizing uh, many of Stevie's tools, not all of them just yet, still working on it. But uh, here you can take a look in the uh, the upper section are all the major indices in the uh, U.S. And then down below that are the S&P 500 sectors. 
Now, we just spent time taking a look at roads, momentum indicator signals, TD setup, nine counts out there, those patterns that are in play. We know that those can identify tops and bottoms. Doesn't mean a top or bottom will happen, but when they do occur, when they do form, the hair on the back of your neck should begin to stand up. That is if you have hair on the back of your neck. I try to shave mine up because it looks kind of nasty, if you know what I mean. But let's just stay on track here. Look at all the daily topping signals out there. There's a plethora. We looked at the weekly chart. Now, the weekly looks pretty blank, doesn't it? On the weekly chart, you don't see many topping signals, do you? Not rose momentum indicator signals. So go over a few column where it says W slash TD9. There's our monthly TD9 counts. Now, those stars in there, they mean that bar 8 or 9, because that's where it's at right now, either bar 8 or 9 is the highest high of that pattern. So those are very likely confirmed. The ones that have nine, like the NDX 100, is already confirmed. So the weekly has a topping signal. The daily has a topping signal. The monthly has a topping signal out here. And all of this is taking place as we are moving towards our seasonal topping pattern out here. Seasonal topping cycle, which typically occurs around the first week in January. It can be delayed. It can, it can happen earlier. So I don't know whether it's sooner or later. It just doesn't happen at all. But there is enough out here uh, for me, who's generally bullish with regard to our market signals, to say, hold on, Will Robinson. Yeah, it just got to hold on out here. Uh, there are problems. So oh, I mentioned the DAC. We were taking a look at the uh, uh, at the international. So th this this here has me concerned. Maybe it doesn't have you concerned. It has me concerned out here. Don't get caught into the fluff and stuff. And, 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 and uh, you kind of get the picture out there. The folks that aren't pattern people. The folks that do not trade patterns. They don't really have a clue as to how markets make tops or bottoms. You and I, we've got more than a clue. We have absolute insight. We have proof. We are not ones to say that these patterns will never fail. No. And we have to wait for the market to confirm these patterns. We know that game out there. But when we take a look at this, daily topping signals, weekly topping signals, monthly topping signals, you tell me as we move into what is normally where we see the market back off. <clears throat> so if you're asking me on December 18th, you know, should you start putting money to work in this market? <sighs> well, um, don't, don't do it because of, of being, no, of course not. We've got to wait. Now, now is the time to be patient. Look, if there are, so, and, and the only market here that's breaking out, as you can see, the only market that's breaking out is the U.S. Everything else is in, you know, some form of a consolidation out there. No, and I, I just don't see these markets lifting all boats higher. In Germany, as an example, what you got yesterday and you had follow through today, here is the uh, DAX out here. You've got a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. So in this case here, not just are we taking a look at what's going on in the U.S., now we come over to Germany, we take a look at it, and it's got the confirmed Rhodes Momentum Indicator top out there. That's on its daily time frame. I don't know what it's got on its weekly, but let's just go, simply go take a peek. On the weekly, I don't have much. It would be an A to B equals CD pattern that we would uh, form, but it doesn't have a bearish reversal candle and prices above. It's uh, Stevie's green line at 13.121. On the monthly chart, what do we have out here? Well, you still have that Rhodes momentum indicator top, which has never been taken, which has not been taken out. I, should, I can't say never. It looks like that was from back in October. You've got wave number seven out here. You see a couple of Gs out there. This is my automated uh, wave count tool. Still working on it, still refining it out there, but uh, it's coming along very nicely out here. So you've got the monthly top that's in place already in uh, Germany. So, I'm, I'm, uh, folks, I mean, I've gotten emails from people saying, y y did, did you say bear? Uh, I, I did. There's just too many of those. Now, those patterns, they may not form. Price can just start taking off, moving higher, and doing with energy, and then those roads, momentum indicator signals will fail. But they're knocking on the door right now, and therefore, 
we want to pay close attention. If we take a look at horizontal trading range, you know when you're in the U.S. markets, you're above highs and everything, you're above profiles, where are you going to find support and resistance out there? Well, if we just start with the Dow as a matter of, uh, as a place to start here, we can see we've got monthly and horizontal trading ranges out here. These are the green and red lines. Where is price? Sitting right at resistance. Right at resistance. Hey, let's go take a look at the NQ. Where is price? Right at resistance of its horizontal trading range for its weekly time frame. So, folks, this is the time to be careful. And the idea that cash is king, yeah, I'd say it really is king. But speaking of kings, I'm not sure what that meant. But let's go talk to Robert in uh, Overland Park. Robert, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this afternoon? Hey, I'm doing great, Steve. Thanks for taking my call. I have sure. a uh, clarifying question on GDX. Uh, you had indicated um, your perspective on GDX of gold, just Goldilocks, is over the long, over several months, you view it as uh, going down. Hey, Robert, and, Robert, Robert, and my yeah. apology, but we're about to go to a hard break here. So uh, I didn't realize that when I took the call. Uh, do me a favor. Hold on. We'll come back. We'll finish up with you for the two-minute wrap for GDX. I'll let you finish your question then, and we'll go from there. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated traded folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back, folks. We're going right out to Robert because we've got about two minutes here. So, Robert, take her away with regard to your question. Okay, so intermediate term and long term on gold, is your perspective that, uh, I, I think I may have got a little confused yesterday. I thought I just heard you say that your view is over the next several months, maybe in the next year, you thought you, your perspective of the charts was telling you that gold was going to go down. And I was yes. thinking your long-term perspective on gold was bullish. So is, is, it, is it just semantics? Like you're defining kind of like long-term differently than, than how I would? Is you think that's what's going on? So I think that the breakout that we saw this year, the move higher this year, is real. Um, and uh, but I think that there's still going to be a pullback. Now, the reason I think that is just because that's what the charts are communicating to me. I'm just letting the charts speak. Now, I pulled up the GDX versus the gold contract. They really they really both show the same thing. And on the weekly basis out here, you've got this nice roads momentum indicator top. Um, we've had price basically trading in a range. It's trading below Stevie's green line out here. Uh, I believe that the GDX uh, longer term, intermediate term, I, you know, I don't have the time frame uh, per se nailed down here, Robert, but I can easily see this pulling back to $20.28. That's where it broke out. Gold tends to uh, shake people out. I think that would shake people out. A lot of folks have bought in up at these highs out here. And uh, that move lower, they'll be saying, I don't want to be a part of it. The longer term, the larger picture out here for gold, um, I still think looks good, as well as the GDX. Um, so this formed a nice bottom way back in 2015. Did it with the roads, or 2016, with the roads momentum indicator uh, signal. We have uh, Stevie's red line turned green. Uh, back in July of this year, usually price and it, this is for the GDX, catch up to each other. That's at 25.33. I still see a further pullback inside of gold and the mining equities and the GDX, and they may not be ready for prime time until a year from now. But we'll just take things one step at a time. Does that help? Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. You bet. Hey, Robert, thanks so much for calling. Happy holidays to you, everybody else. And stay tuned. You got a great show out there and a big winner, winner chicken dinner from David White. I'm sure he'll talk about that. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. I'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday.